Hello, fellow retro gamers. Today, we'll be looking at Ninja Gaiden for the Sega Genesis. Ninja Gaiden, you say? Yes. Unfortunately, this game was never released. You see, during the late 80s and early 90s, Nintendo controlled 95% of the video game market. Because of this, contractually, Nintendo prevented third parties from bringing popular NES titles to competitors' consoles. Ninja Gaiden was one of those titles. To combat this, Sega would license popular franchises and port them to their consoles. In the case of Ninja Gaiden, Sega made original installments for the Game Gear, Master System, and Genesis. Except, they shelved the Genesis version. Was it really that bad, or did it have potential? Ninja Gaiden was in development until sometime in 1992. It's been said that the game was 60% complete when Sega cancelled it. I've heard that there are seven stages, but I couldn't get past the third stage. At this point in the game, glitches would prevent me from making progress. I have a feeling that this game was built around a wrestling game because you could only move in an isometric pattern. As a result, I felt I was fighting the controller. The music doesn't work at all for this game. Honestly, the tune sounded more appropriate for a Sonic game. At some points, I felt like I was having fun. It did kind of remind me of a Streets of Rage game. The sound effects make you feel like you're punching the wind as opposed to a person. I'm guessing the sound effects weren't finished. In my opinion, it was a mistake that Sega canceled this game. The bones of a good game are here. Assuming the controls would have been fixed, I think a few more moves and some power-ups could have fixed this game. Oh, and a completely different musical score is a must. What do you guys think? Should Sega have canceled this game? Let me know! We'll see you next episode. Bye!